We are looking, ladies and gentlemen, at the quadrilateral classwork. This is all about proofs of quadrilaterals, we like to call it. Okay. So we're going to set up a coordinate for four vertices on the given parabola. So you guys might not be able to see it, but this point right here says A0. And this point right here says B0. This point right here says 0C. Okay? So we want to know what point M, I, T, and E are. What all of those points are. Okay, so right here, this is MM. Can somebody tell me what do you think the coordinates are for MM? Give me a guess. M, M. M right here. What is the X coordinate? What's the Y coordinate for it? Zero, zero. Good. You guys were like super nervous about it. Okay. It's just zero, zero. Okay. The next one I think is easy as well. What is the coordinates for E? What does this say right here? What is that? What, what, what is this right here? B, zero. So that's what it is. It's just B, zero. I don't know if this coordinate plane is counting by ones, twos, fives. So I just have to say what it is. Okay. Now, that's, oops, I wrote it for T. I'm going to change it to E. There we go. We'll just do that. Okay. What is I? So this is a little bit harder. How much did I go over to get to I? Now watch my pencil. Are you ready? Watch it. I went over this much, and then I went up how much? So I went over, what letter is this? A, and I went up how much? C. Does that make sense? I, it's really weird because I'm not using numbers, and I'm telling you, you can't, like, count. You just got to use what it says right here. So I went over A, up C, and that got me to I. Okay. Now we're going to talk about T. T gets a little weird. So let's look. I went. Can you find me another colored pencil? Any color. Thank you. Okay. So I went over how much? to go all the way to T. First I go over B, and then how much more am I going over to get to T? I went over three. Do we agree that A, you went over three as well? So could I say B plus A? So could I say right here that T, I went over B plus A more? Let's think about that. I went over all the way to B, correct? I know I went that far at least, right? And that's B. Now I'm going to go over three little dashes more. And three dashes got me to A. So I took this purple part right here, and I added it on to my orange distance here. Okay? If my orange distance was A and my uh, is B, and then the purple distance is A, I went B plus A. Yeah? Weird? Okay, okay. Now, how much did I go up to get to T? C. You guys got that. I'm so proud. You guys never want to answer my questions, and then you do the hardest one, you answer all my questions. I'm very proud of you. Okay, we want to prove that it's a parallelogram. So let's talk about what things do we need to know that is a parallelogram. What, what is true about a parallelogram? Let's see. Two parallel sets of sides, right? So let's find their slopes. So we're going to find the slope of M to I, and then I to T, and then T to E, and then E to M. Okay, which two do we want to be the same? 
I to T and M to E should be the same. And then M to I and T to E should be the same, right? Okay, because the opposite sides are parallel, right? Okay, so let's remember that we're going to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That will totally work, but I'm going to show you graphically too, because a lot of you guys like to draw on here. Okay, so we're looking at m to i. So m to i, how much did I go up from m to get to i? I went up c. How much did I get over? Go over then. A. Done. C over A is my answer. That's my slope. Okay. Now I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to do I to T. I'm going to do it using Y2 minus Y1 so you guys can see it. We're going from I to T. So here's I. Here's T. I'm just going to put it in that formula. So I'm going to say Y2 is C minus C, right? Because this is X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So C minus C over B plus A minus A. What's C minus C going to give us? If I have C and I take it away, what am I left with? Zero. zero. So does it matter what's on the bottom? If there's a zero on top of a fraction, it's always just going to be... Zero. Okay? Do you want to, now you guys choose. Do you want me to do the next two graphically or do you want to do them algebraically where we use the formula? Who wants graph? Who wants the algebra way? Okay, so I'll do one of each. All right. T to E, I'm going to do graphically. I went over to go from E to T, I went over A, right? That's kind of hard. And I went up C, so that's C over A. See? That part right there, that's C. This part right here is A, if I'm going to draw my little triangle. Okay? E to M. So E to M, I'm going to go X1, Y1, X2, Y2. And I'm going to go 0 minus 0 over B minus 0 gives me 0. So are these two the same answer? Good. Are these two the same answer? Okay, so opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides also have to be what to each other? Congruent. Nice. So, MI. All right. Let's look from M to I. We're going to look at this. We're going to do it graphically first. We're going to look at that. How much did I go up? From M to I, I went up how much? C. And I went over how much? A. Okay, so that's going to be C squared plus A squared square rooted, right? Because the formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we plug in a and c here. And we'll just, yeah. So it's a squared plus c squared equals, um, we'll call it mi this time. mi squared. Okay, I have to get rid of the square root sign. So we just put the square root over it. Okay? So mi needs to be the same as TE, right? So I want these two to be the same. Okay. So let's do I to T. What's the distance between I to T? I is A and T is A plus B. So this is A I'm at A already, and I move over to A plus B, so I moved over just B. Does that make sense? T to E, I'm going to go down C over A, so that's going to be A squared plus C squared. Are these the same thing? Does it matter if we have 
2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2, correct? Okay. And so E to B, um, M to E, excuse me, is I went over B, and it shows me right here. See, that's B0, so I went over B. Are opposite sides equal to each other? Yeah. Okay. Define the term for a segment bisector, guys. Define the term for a segment bisector. What does a segment bisector mean? What do I do? What, how, what does bisect mean? Who knows? Cut in, Cut in half. So it's when a segment is cut in half. Okay. Write the definition of bisect in a biconditional statement. So if a segment is bisected, then it's cut in half. Okay, let's talk about converse would be if it's cut in half, then it's bisected. That's true, correct? So our biconditional statement is a segment is bisected if and only if it's cut in half. See how we just merged all that logic stuff we used with all the quadrilateral stuff we used? Oh, that's why we're doing that in this unit. It's amazing. Okay. Prove that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. What did we use on the quiz to prove that something bisects? What formula did we use? Did we use distance, slope, or midpoint? To prove that something bisects. Midpoint. So that's x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. So let's just use the midpoint formula to find these. We need to find the midpoint of m to t, and we need to find the midpoint from i to e. Okay? So my points for M are 0, 0, and my points for T are B plus A comma C. That's my X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Correct? Yes? That has? Okay. So let's plug it in. If we've got X1, we're going to go 0 plus B plus A over 2 comma, y1 is going to be 0 plus c over 2. So my answer is b plus a over 2, c over 2. That's my midpoint for m to t. Now we've got to do it from i to e. i is ac, e is b0, x1, y1, x2, y2. So let's plug it in. x's are a plus b over 2, c plus 0 over 2, which gives me a plus b over 2, comma, c over 2. Are they the same? Same. So the diagonals bisect. Questions? Yes. Okay. Let's talk about why we're doing this in the first place. All right. If I had these equations, do you guys agree, and I would give you four random points, that you could just stick them in here to figure out if it was a parallelogram. So if I gave you a four random points, okay, 
you could instead take those points and plug them in for like C, A, or B, and it would take about two seconds to figure out, yep, that's, it's a, you know, parallelogram or rhombus or rectangle. Okay. So number two is you're going to set up a general square and find it. Okay. So I think what we should do is we should set up the coordinates for the square and then you guys can do all the other stuff, okay? Because I think that's going to be the hardest part. So when you've got this down, let's flip it over to two so you guys can do your homework. You guys, we need another second for this or we're good? One more second. You good, Kelsey? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're looking at number two. We've got our little graph right here. My strong, 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 strong suggestion for all of these guys is for you to put one of the corners at zero, zero. It's going to make life a lot easier. So let's say I'm going to put this here. Hmm. Let's say I'm going to set up a square like this. Do we agree that all the sides are even? I just did three. You could do it differently though. Abby, you could do it four off and you get the same answer. Do we agree that this, we're gonna name this point right here A, this one B, and I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna name it um, W, X, Y, and Z. What is the coordinates for W? Zero, zero. What do we want to make the coordinates for X? I know the X value is going to be zero, right? I'm going to make the Y value, I don't know, B? Does that sound good? What about for Z? What are my coordinates going to be? Zero. What letter do we want to use? Or it's not going to be zero, it's going to be... Like we could do A comma zero, right? We went over so many, but up none. What's the coordinates for Y going to be? The coordinates are given for Y. I want you to think about it. A, B. Now, there's only one thing I'm going to change. Instead of making this B and this A, do we agree a square, they should be the same, right? So let's change this A to a B and say we went over B and up B. So they should both be B and B, right? Does that kind of make sense? Do you guys you understand why, why I'm changing it? Do we agree that this distance has to be the same as this distance? Right To the right has to be the same as up? Okay, now you're going to use this and you're going to find x to y, y to z, z to w, x to w. You're going to find all the distances, and then you're going to find all the slopes. Okay, All the distances and all the slopes. Then you're going to go answer all of these questions down here. Okay? X, it says zero B. Because right, Abby, I went over zero, but I went up B. Okay, you have the rest of the hour to work on this one. I am going to pass out your quizzes, though, in just a second.